Hello. This is a cauliflower and it has nothing to do with this video. This week we're doing the Uncle Robert story time again, which means that you can see the drawing in the background happening, but I am just going to talk about a topic that I like. And this week that topic is a sketchbook. And I expect most of you know sketchbook. sketchbook. A lot of people found me through the sketchbook tutorial, but I don't think it's a big surprise to anybody that I am a huge sketchbook fan. I've been using it, I, I don't know, back in 2007. They, I don't know when it came out, but back in the days of Alia Sketchbook, I already was using Sketchbook and I was loving it quite a bit. And then it was acquired by Autodesk. And I was actually excited because I knew Autodesk from their inventor CAD application, because that's what we learned during mechanical engineering during my bachelor's. And I did like that uh, app quite a bit. So I was curious what's going to happen. Was a little bit disappointed. Well, not a little bit. So let, let, me, let me say, first of all, I bought the app. But remember back in the days I was living in good old Eastern Europe when we didn't buy anything, but we were <laughs> pirating everything. But I liked Sketchbook so much that I actually bought it for like, I don't know, it was like 20 something euro. It was... 20 euros, something like that, but I was like, oh, this is, this is worth it. And yeah, I was using Photoshop at the same time as well. Let's not say what sort of, if I bought it or not, let's not talk about that. But I did buy Sketchbook and even when it switched to Autodesk uh, and they, they came up with the subscription system, I was like, okay, you know what? I really like this app. And I think it was like 30 euros a year. And I was like, this is worth it for me because I just constantly use it. Yeah, I switched to Photoshop every now and then for some more tools that uh, Sketchbook didn't have. But for the lines and the initial sketching and the ideation, like I still prefer Sketchbook to this day. And then sadly, well, not sadly, in a very good way, Autodesk decided to make Sketchbook free for everybody. The only problem was I was a little bit concerned because free applications usually don't get as much love, I have noticed. And that's what I experienced with Sketchbook. So the blog was still chucking along. We, we saw uh, new blog posts every now and then and you could still get some nice brushes from there. But stuff like my two favorite brushes that I also always advertise, well, I advertised in my sketchbook tutorials, you can't really find them on the sketchbook blog anymore. And I had to host them on my Google Drive. So that's, that's where people get them from. And it just felt like, yeah, the developers didn't really have the time or energy to, to work on sketchbook because Autodesk is a huge company and they have many other applications that they have to work on. But now, uh, a week ago, on June the 22nd, uh, there was a blog post on the Autodesk sketchbook. And in this blog, on well, June the 22nd, as I said, uh, they said that sketchbook is spinning out from Autodesk and it's becoming an, its own company again, or for the first time, I don't know. But uh, some of the developers, or I, I don't know how many of the de developers, but they are leaving Autodesk sketchbook and they are becoming just sketchbook with, with a small B. So they changed the, the, the big B from sketchbook to a small B. And I am excited because that means that they are going to put all their efforts and all um, their creativity and time again, hopefully into further developing sketchbook. And that would be fantastic uh, because yeah, I am a big <laughs> lover of sketchbook. And uh, at the moment also, I still prefer using Sketchbook on my computer, the mobile version. While it is nice to just, oh yeah, I haven't drawn in Sketchbook in a while. Let me open it again and do something. N no, it's, it's, it's sadly not my go-to drawing application on, on the iPad. I usually go to, uh, as most people, to Procreate just because that was created from the get-go for the iPad. And, and with Sketchbook, you could say, you could see that they sort of took this application that works very well on desktops and they just, okay, let, let us apply it to, to the mobile version. And it's, it's not quite as intuitive, in my opinion, as Procreate in that case. 
but still on the desktop for me for sketching ideating and usually i i prefer working on the desktop just because my setup is optimized for that yeah nothing nothing beats uh sketchbook so yeah this this was just a sort of an an, an update video of, of of me talking a little bit about uh, my excitement for for this new development with sketchbook because yeah it I, I really hope it can only mean uh good things and i am also curious what what you guys think since i imagine a lot of you use sketchbook since you watch my videos are you are you excited are you not are you looking forward to to, to new things just leave me a comment i'm, I'm very curious to see what what other people think uh, around this topic and as for the drawing in the background, yeah, I just love I just love furniture and it's been a while since I, I did a, a furniture drawing. So I thought, hey, another bar stool. I did something quite similar, but uh, for some reason, there, I just something came to my mind. Let me do a, do a bar stool. And actually, I wanted to do something with oh, very intricate wooden uh, interlaced legs. And as I started sketching, my, my head just started going away with it. And I ended up with this, hey, I just want a big, nice wooden block that you can sit on and then this wooden block would be on like some sort of uh, uh, power powder powder coated metal just resting there so you have a little bit of well it's not elasticity but i think it is elasticity as you sit there anyways you know my uh, process so i'm not gonna talk about that uh but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video as I said, please leave me leave me your comment. I'm very interested what you guys think of this whole situation. If you would like, you can follow me. You can like the video. If you want to support me, you can also check out Gumroad, where I have a couple of paid videos. Maybe you get some value out of that. You can also just get me a coffee if you want to. All the links are in the description down below. But as always, the most important thing is that you guys have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.